Sunday afternoon, March 2nd, hundreds of people participate the protest of anti-Senate Constitution Amendment No. 5 in City Hall of Cupertino. SCA 5 is the amendment which will allow the California State University and University of California to deny an individual or group's right to public education on the basis of race, color, ethnicity, or national origin. Hundreds of people hang up their poster in the rain and shout out their slogan to protest the SCA 5. SCA 5! California State Senate Minority Leader and Senate Republican Leader Bob Huff spoke for the Asian community. Yes, well, I think everybody knows that uh, education is, is the top priority for Asians. My wife is Chinese, uh, you know, foreign-born, and I understand that part. So it concerns me greatly when we would have a constitutional amendment that turn back the progress we've made, where we currently don't make uh, choices on education admission based on race. I think it's going the opposite direction of where we should be. David Lehrer, the president of Community Advocate INC, said, California should expand the UC system. You know, California ranked number seven in the global economy. More, you know, more money than anybody. So I refuse to believe that California cannot afford to expand the UC system or the CSU system. We're in the Silicon Valley. You notice how many tens of thousands of foreign engineers that are being brought in and scientists because UC is not producing enough. California. Our journalists also interviewed the candidate for the United States House of Representatives in California's 17th Congressional District, Rokhana. I'm Ro Khanna. Uh, I'm a candidate for Congress from Cupertino, Fremont, and the broader Silicon Valley. I've come here to s register my opposition to SCA 5. I don't think we should have uh, discrimination uh, at public universities or quotas. I think we have to look at the holistic factors of uh, economic disadvantage uh, and make sure we have diversity in the classroom, but we can do it through holistic factors. And this is an area where uh, I will be a very strong advocate for the Asian American community. Chinese American, Indian American, Vietnamese American, Philippine American community to say no discrimination in the classroom, no to SCA 5. Uh, and it's, uh, I'm the only candidate in this race for Congress who has taken that strong position. Our journalists interview some protesters. Sun Xiaoguang, who works in the City Planning Bureau, said SCA 5 really displeased some parents. But at the same time, I think we should lead them to be more active in political activities. It is also one of our purpose of this event. Li Jingfen, the community leader, said, I'm glad to see many people bring their children and grandchildren here today to this protest. SCA5 reminds us to realize the power of each individual in politics. He Konghua. The community leader said, I'm happy to be here today. I think old and new immigrants should stand up and vote for our future. One of the children protesters told our journalists what he think about SCA 5. Not by your color or anything, but you have to afford your score or like how good you are in your, in your study. The California Senate Constitution Amendment No. 5 was introduced by California State Senator Edward Hernandez to the California State Senate on December 3, 2012. If the commandment passed, they may lost two-thirds Asian students in both CSU and UC System universities. ICN News, Lu Jianjing, San Francisco Report.